So let's talk about one of the first building blocks of Dagger called the module. Well, the module is a class like any other class where you define the dependencies that you want Dagger to inject for you. So let's go ahead here and create a class called module. It's a Kotlin class. And because we wanted to provide the application-wide dependencies, we can call this the app module. Because it is a class like any other class, we can say class app module is what we wanted to call it. This we need to tell Dagger that this class that we're creating should be our module. So we have to annotate it with the at module annotation. And now Dagger knows that this class right here would hold our application-wide dependencies. So let's add a comment in here that says provides application-wide dependencies. Then what we want to do is include other modules. So what we would say here is includes, and one of the modules we want to include is what's called the Android Support Injection Module. And what the Android Support Injection Module is, it, it would allow us to inject classes from the Android framework that we need. For example, like the Activity Classes and the Fragment Classes. So here we can go ahead and write Android Support Injection Module class. So to provide our first dependency, the first thing we have to do here is, is have a, an at provides annotation and that tells Zagger that we're about to provide this dependency and then uh, we simply write a function here and we can call it provides, um, say we want to provide that email class, say so provides email uh, takes no parameters, okay, and what this is going to do is just return an instance of the email class. So we can say return email and have email there. So the dagger is going to look at this class and say, okay, what dependencies do I need to provide? It's going to say here, this is an email dependency. So how do I create that? It's going to create it using this. Um, and whenever anyone asks for this dependency, it's going to dagger is going to return this instance of that class. So say you wanted to provide another dependency for the application's resources. What we can do here again is have another app provides annotation and a function here that says uh, fun provides resources because Kotlin is fun. And this is just going to return a resources class. And here we can say um, well, the resources class depends on the application class, right? So that means we need to pass in an instance of the application class. So here we can say application or app for short, and let's just call this demo app. It's a class we haven't created yet. So all we would need to do here is say app dot get resources. And because this is Kotlin, we can have this as a single line function and write it like that. And let's go ahead and create this class. Create class, separate file, and this class extends the application class. Great. So just like that, we would have told Dagger how we want this dependency provided. So another thing we can do here is we might have a dependency on an interface, for example. Say um, we want any class that extends a certain interface to be able to be injected. We can do that as well. So let's create an interface in here, Kotlin, and let's just call it messaging interface. And here we can say interface, messaging interface, and we can give it a function send message. So fun, send message. We're going to have a class in here that uh, implements this messaging interface. So here we can say class messaging interface impl, so as an implementation which implements messaging interface. Okay, and we're just going to implement the methods uh, send message. Great. So we want to provide a dependency based off of that interface. So for interfaces, they're a little different. So rather than using the at provides annotation, we're going to use the at binds annotation. So we can have at binds. And we want to bind this interface to a concrete implementation of that interface. So we can say fun provides 
So we want to provide the messaging. So it provides messaging. And in here, we will pass in the concrete implementation that we want to inject. And that concrete implementation in our case is messaging interface implementation. And this returns messaging interface. But because we are using an interface here and the add binds annotation, and because this is an interface, we want to make this, or we're returning an instance of the interface, we want to make this abstract. But we can't have an abstract method inside a class that is not abstract, so we have to make this class abstract as well. And great, just like that, we're providing an implementation of this messaging interface. Great, everything seems to work fine. So here we talked about the add provides and the add binds annotation. These are really important in Dagger, especially um, when you're providing the dependencies. So add provides is when you have a concrete implementation. Um, so say you have an actual class that you want to be able to inject, but you would use the add binds when you want to inject an interface. And those are the differences between the two of them. So that's it for this one. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like in the comment box in the description. You know, thumbs up tells YouTube that you really like this stuff and you want more of it. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comments below. And 